We've had people bring their films that they've made using Bandai characters since we started doing amateur films at G-Fest, and none of them are as enjoyable as what John has done. Usually, and my son has done this as well, guys around the tail, and uh, John brings them to life. He animates them, he has the background, the story, they're inanimate objects brought to life. There's a lot of humor, as you can see. So, <clears throat> everyone, let's give them a big round of applause. Let John take a couple minutes of question and answer before we get to the next one, and then here we go. I've noticed that in the Gamera Async trilogy that the gaps are a multitude in numbers, so I figured it'd be best to put a Gamera character in because I have a favorite Gamera, and because there are multiple gaps throughout the multiple Gamera's um, eras, like you know, um, I say Millennium, and I figured Gauss was the best option to use as the subplot mode of the series. Uh, how long does it take one to make uh, one of these stop motion videos? It's usually changed throughout the years. Like at first, it took about two to three months to usually put an episode together. But as time has gone on, and as the episodes have grown more and more complex to put together, like this particular episode to make, actually took about six months to make the tops. And that's not including like a job outside of my life, which is <laughs> take a while, a lot more fun. Um, I have a question for the next episode. It, will Godzilla be allies with the monsters that look like him, like Earthtron, Jiras, and Gomez? Will he be allies with them? Um, unfortunately, I can't say what we do both the series, but on uh, the next episode, no. Sorry. <laughs> Go motion. No, oh, the, the cartoon go motion? Or go motion. Not a stop motion. No, I'm not familiar with it. Get up. You. Um, what was your favorite scene from the episode? I'm sorry, Sam. What was your favorite scene from the episode? This episode that you played. Well, my favorite scene has to be either the funniest, which got yeah, involving landing on Ron's spine, or one of the more complex scenes that we put together, which was Amanda crawling around his legs, because that was actually one of the harder scenes to actually get right, because in reality, the prop that, can be, that 
the accused of commanding 12 other flags was not capable of doing that for the actual figure. So I actually had to mat it in through multiple layers in order to get right and then the outcome of how it happened. Is it a possibility to see a camera in that Um, In the future, possibly, but not at this time. <coughs> um, do you Are you thinking about adding a student stand by randomly going up next to it? Well, the reason why I don't think you have to do it series is one because the series is supposed to focus solely on the monsters and two because getting human actors to do what I'd like to have planned for the future if I were to put them in the series a lot harder than a lot harder you don't or at least as much emotion as a human character So, I've, from the start, you've always used Ultraman monsters for all these years for your gene and those amazing, fr amazing friends. What finally, ma what made you decide to finally throw in a Toho character as a villain? Well, partially because everybody's been asking me to put in more Godzilla monsters in the series, but also because a good friend of mine asked me if I was going to include any more villains in the series apart from Geronimon, who was the monster who killed the war at the start of the and so, not only did I put the word of so I had a total on which I figured I had one that not only is not very well recognized, but also one that I could use for comic relief. Like, for example, Geronimon is a very serious villain that everybody is supposed to know and fear on Monster Island. Whereas Gabra is just the comedic villain. Nobody takes him seriously, and he's always a dirty coward who will always get his come up at the end of whatever he starts. Exactly, like a bully. Just like that. So, in essence, I pleased, I hope I pleased everybody by adding a Toho villain and one that can be reappearing throughout the series, hopefully very, very soon. It was just going to be my last question because I'm going to leave soon, but would you ever consider doing a team up with Monster Island buddies? In the future, yes. <coughs> you have any, I, I think, uh, I can say, you have any ideas for more open Yeah, Yes, there's always room for some ultra monsters because. The reason, and I might as well explain this is to everybody who wants to see more Tobo monsters. The reason why there are more Ultra monsters as villains and not Tobo monsters is because I find that Ultra monsters are a lot easier to use because they have little material to work with, whereas a lot of monsters in Tobo have a lot of complexity to use. So I'm able to get away with more monsters in Ultra because they act more like natural monsters. Whereas all monsters of Tobo usually have a much more complex backstory and a lot more complex capabilities. And because the entire series takes place on Monster Island, I can get away with them being just natural monsters rather than being byproducts of whatever the original movie is based on. So, um, what ultra monster do you really want to fight? Well, there's always an ultra monster that I really want to fight, and one that a lot of people really want to fight. And usually, off the top of my head, the ones I really want you to fight are Earthtron, Salamandora, Earthtron from Ultra Jack, Salamandora from Ultra Eighty, and Giros from Ultra Man. However, as far as the series has currently progressed, I feel that I unfortunately cannot put in those monsters without giving them what I really want to give them, which is more potential to match Godzilla. So, 
depending on what kind of holes I can fill, I'll see if I can squeeze them in there. But as far as anything else goes, I really want to add them, but there are some things that I fear won't allow me to put them in the series. I think is it a possibility to have a mill? No. Um, maybe. It's very possible, but, you know, but very uncertain. What about uh, Mothra or King Kong? Mothra is in series. King Kong, I unfortunately cannot include because he's all the way on the other island, and for him to get to Mothra Island, it takes quite an arc of episodes to uh, put it in. But well, yes, Mothra is in the series. But it's been a while since we've seen her. Yes. And I do intend on bringing Mothra back for season two, but. Yes, she is a monster, and she will appear in season two of that movie. Well, I hope I answered all your questions. I hope you enjoyed the episode.